In order for you to run a successful online business, you need a system that has great sales funnel software, email automation, lead generation, the ability to sell courses, physical or digital products easily, A-B testing, and most importantly, great support. Today, we are going to take a look at system.io and see if this is a great platform for running your online business. Okay, so when we first log into uh, system.io, we get this dashboard. Now, this dashboard may look basic on the outset, but it has a lot of tools under it. So this one here is your main uh, leads and sales. But if you click on this drop down, you also have the affiliate dashboard. So this is also really cool if you're selling any products and you'd like to see how it's performing. So this is your dashboard. And then further down here, we also have the marketplace. So if you're promoting any products in the marketplace, this is where they are. And you can actually go into any one of these and start promoting them. And you can see here the commission rate is at 40%. Now let's take a look at the next part. Now this is the contact. So this is where you have all your contacts that would have opted in onto your menu list and this will be there shown in a list now the really cool thing about this as well is you can import all your contacts by coming over here to import contacts and you can start delivering your emails through this system now, when I go over down here as well, there's also this item here called tags. Now, tags are really important because let's say you want to create an opt-in page. This is where you can go in and say, okay, I'm giving away a free ebook and this is how you go in and uh, create your tag. Now, let's see how easy it is to create a tag. So I'm going to come over here to tags and then I'm going to click on add new and you can just give it a name and let's say this is an ebook. So that's all you have to do. You hit save and your tag has been added. Now, moving on, this is where we have funnels. Now, this is the most exciting part for me because this is what enables us to sell all our products easily. When you click here on create, this is where now you can start to see everything come into place. So, for example, here, let's call this ebook. So let's say this is a sales funnel for an ebook that we're going to give away. So we want to build an audience and you can also specify your currency here as well. So I'm just going to leave this as US dollar. So when you say build an audience and click on create, notice what happens. Now we have this dashboard, which also gives us all our templates. So we can just pretty much choose the one that closely resembles what we want our design to look like. Okay, so once you select it, so let's say we want to go with this one here. You can also preview it, which I think is a very, very good thing. So if I click on preview, this opens up in a new tab and shows me what it's going to look like. And I think this is really, really nice. I like this. Okay, so back over here now, when you select it, uh, it then pulls in the, the whole design and you also get this link. If I click here to copy this link, this is where my landing page is going to be. And I can now come back over here and further customize it. So what's really cool about this? This is everything is along here. So let's say I want to go to my automation rules. I can just click here and then add my rule. So I can say, okay, when someone subscribes onto this funnel, what do I do? Now, remember, we created a tag. So if I were to say, okay, let's add an action. I can click here and I can say subscribe to campaign, add a tag or whatever it is. If I need to add a tag, in this case, we have a tag. I can just choose it here on this drop down and here it is ebook. So when someone signs up, they will get the tag called ebook. So when I send my emails in the future, I can specify and say, okay, I want my emails to go out to anyone that downloaded the ebook. So this is where this becomes very, very handy. Okay. So moving on, this is our automation rules. We also have this AB test. So this is where we can have a landing page compare between the two and see which one is performing well. Now, moving on, we also have stats. Now, notice that all this is in reference to the squeeze page. So we have our stats. We also have our sales. If this was a sales page, this is where we would see all our sales for this particular funnel. And I really like what also what they've done here because it just simplifies everything. Now, remember that main dashboard, it shows you all the sales that you've made pretty much throughout the whole thing. But this now is showing us how this particular funnel is running. Over here, we also have our deadline settings. I love this because when we use WordPress on the WordPress system, we would need to have a service called deadline funnel, but this is all in, uh, included. I can give the expiry date here, which is really cool. So uh, over here, I can also redirect to a specific page or a squeeze page that I would have created, which can come over here as an extra step. So this is also really cool. Now over here, we also have our leads. So this will show us the list of people that have opted into this particular squeeze page. Now, when you take a look at this, you're probably uh, asking yourself, well, how do we go in and customize this page, which is this one right here I have on this uh, tab. 
Well, they have a clever little uh, icon here, and this is this one right here. I can click on edit page and notice what happens. This now is going to open up a full page builder experience. So I really also like how this works. It looks, it's very snappy. It's very fast. So let's say I want to change this text here. All I have to do is to double click on it and then I can just start typing. Okay, just like that. I can just click away, but let's say I want to further customize this. So here we have background color. We also have fonts. I can choose whatever font I want from this drop down. And the really cool thing here is you also have Google fonts, which means you can add as many fancy fonts you want on this landing page. We also have the margins here, bottom left, right, left, and so on. I can also control my padding. So you can see here, if I increase it like that, very snappy, it works really, really well. So if you've used page builders like Divi or Elementor, you'll notice that we have pretty much similar features here and it's very minimal and it's very, very easy to use. So if you want to make any changes here, you would click on this gear icon. Now this takes you now to our row so you can you know, change your margins, bottom left and so on. You can also come over here and add a background image. You can position it. You can also add your background color here. You can add a shadow. You can also add a border style rounded corners and so on. So as you can see, it's not fully fledged like how Divi is or how Elementor is, but it does the job. And it may look like a negative, but to me it is a positive because when you create landing pages and sales pages, the main goal is to sell. This is not a design project. So I really like that. And the second reason why I really like the minimal approach to this is when you have all these extra features, it makes the whole program really, really slow. So this now really makes it super fast. And I like the simplicity. Now, there's something I forgot to mention here, and that is this also has built in pop ups. And this is also really, really cool. Let's go back here and I'll show you where that is. So if I click on edit page on the top here, you notice that we have our pop-ups so you can add a pop-up by clicking here on add and then you can go in and customize it and once you've customized it and you're happy with it you can just save changes and then now we're back to settings so now if we click here on this button here the pop-up will show up and that is where our opt-in form is going to be so here we have all these different options. We have our four column layout three columns two columns we have video audio we also have a carousel here a content box and his, this is where we have our form input uh, button and so on. So as you can see here, this is fantastic. We even have a survey. So this is really, really cool. Now here we also have our menu. So if you wanted to add a menu onto this page, you can do it by just dragging and dropping it wherever you want it to be. When I hover over here, we have three items. We have our newsletters, our campaigns and our statistics. So let's go to our newsletter. So over here, we can create a newsletter by clicking here on create newsletter. We also have uh, some templates here. So uh, let's say you want to uh, create some campaigns. You can create your campaigns here and then you click on create. You give it a name, description, and then you can create your emails and send them out to your mailing list. Over here, we also have statistics and this will show you how things are performing on your site. Now over here we have blogs. Now I haven't really tested blogs to see how this actually works. I've been just used to the WordPress side of things, but I will have tutorials showing you how the blogs actually work. Now let's move on to automations. Again, this is a very, very uh, exciting part. So over here we have our rules and our workflows and our workflows. Now this is where you can click here on create and add your workflow. So I'm going to say test and then click on create. Okay, for this one here, if you want to customize it, you can click on this little icon here. So this is where now we can say, okay, what's my first trigger? So I could say, okay, for this one here, we want that where uh, when a tag is added, then this is going to start our automation. So let's say tag added. We can click on this drop down, and then maybe we can choose the ebook. Now there's also other options here like form sub uh, subscribed. We can we can also have, for example, enrolled in a course bundle, email link clicked. We can also have page visited. So as you can see, there's quite a few to choose from here. And now let's say my tag here is ebook. I can hit create. And the really cool thing now with automations here is if I click on this plus button, we can now go to our action. So our action here could be to, uh, let's enroll on the course after adding the tag. Now we also have a delay. So let's say you want to delay uh, two hours before you take an action. You can just say two hours and then add another action. So let's say for this one here, we can say maybe send an email. And then over here, you can create a brand new email by clicking on create new email. You can give it a subject. 
and then now we can save and edit. So now we have our body of our email here. So one thing that got me a bit confused here is well, it says paused here. So how do we activate it and make it work? So what they've done here is if you go back over here to workflows. So this is the one that I've been, I've been playing around with. If you come over here now, you can activate it like that. So now you can confirm to activate it. So we have a central place where all your workflows can be activated or deactivated. And I really like this. Moving on, now we have our physical products, our coupon codes, our orders. And this is pretty much everything that we need. So for example, let's say we are selling courses. This is where you'd come over here to courses and you can add a brand new course just by clicking this plus button. This is our course path, by the way. So let's call this Mac course and see what this page looks like. So this is our text description. Okay, so now this is our path. So if I copy this URL here, so let me just quickly save. So now I can start adding my module. So let's say this is a module one, save that. Now I can start adding all my lessons. So let's say my lesson here requires a video. So as you can see, you can select it by just doing that. So I would like the video here and I can hit save. So now I can go into the actual lesson page and uh, start editing all my text. And I can even add all my notes to remember and so on. And I think this is really, really easy to use. And it is really, really cool. Now let's take a look and see what this landing page looks like. Now I know I haven't added any uh, graphics onto it, but you can see here Mac course and there's my name there. It also shows me my percentage completed and so on. So right now it's telling me there's no lectures yet, but this is the dashboard that you'd see. So as you can see, this is really, really amazing. It's simple. So running an online business, whether you're selling courses or whatever it is, selling physical products, the dashboard here is very, very easy to follow. Now let's move on to one of the most important areas of running an online business. And this is your email delivery system. So over here on the top, when I come and I go to my settings, we notice that this is where all our action is. So if I come over here to my uh, payment gateways, this is where I would set up my PayPal. I can also set up my Stripe. So at the moment, these are the gateways that we have. And to be honest, these are the ones that most people use anyway, unless you're in a different part of the world. Now, now over here, it will show me my plan, account settings, but what I'm interested in is our mailing settings here. So there's two ways of connecting your email delivery system with system.io. And that is you can set up SendGrid and copy your API, or you can set this up and verify your domain. But in my case here, I'm just using SendGrid, but you can connect this with uh, other services as well. Now I am going to do other tutorials here showing you how to set everything up in detail. But let's move on and let's take a look at our sales funnel page settings. And then over here is where you'd add your tracking code. Uh, over here, we have our payments page settings. And this is where you can specify your currency. Now, I use US dollar, but this is where you would come over here and change. Okay. Now, well, moving on, we also have our membership settings. So here you can have your, you know, your photo and you can just upload it and save it. So pretty much this in a nutshell is system.io. So as you can see, it has everything, all our components that we need. And in my opinion, coming from someone that has used a page builder in a very, very long time, I mean, we're talking about over 10 years. When I look at this, it looks very minimalistic, but at the same time, it does the job. So if you're someone who's new to starting a uh, an online business, I think this is really, really good because it's not overwhelming. And at the same time, it's very, very easy to learn and it's very, very, very easy to navigate your way around it. But most importantly, let's take a look at the price. Okay, so system.io has four plans. And we even have one here that doesn't cost you anything. It's pretty much free. It has up to 2000 contacts, we can even send unlimited emails, but it has quite a few limitations. And the main limitations here are over here at the bottom. So you can see we have only one automation rule, one workflow, one tag. So ideally you cannot run a business on pretty much a few tags. You want to have as many tags as possible. Otherwise you're stuck with just selling one product. But if you want to dabble and just see how uh, system.io works, then of course you may want to start with the free program. But I'm going to jump over straight to the 97 per month. And this one here pretty much gives you unlimited everything. Now, this is really amazing because unlimited everything here is too, too, too good. Because look, we even have webinars. Okay, you have unlimited webinars. Whereas on this one here, we have 
on the 47 per month we have a limitation of 10 webinars so if you're running a fully fledged online business and you have quite a lot of webinars you're running then ideally you want to go on the unlimited it even has a free migration here on the unlimited i mean on the 97 and uh, also the support is across board which is brilliant so with these you can run your own affiliate program so let's say you want to sell a course on your site but you want others to promote it as well this is where you can run your own affiliate program and all this is included in one bundle i think this is fantastic now this is a system that you would compare with uh, services such as say click funnels or katra and as you can see here this has way more to offer and it does pretty much the same job as katra or click funnels and in my opinion, having used both of them, I think this one here does a better job because of its simplicity. It's not overwhelming. And for beginners, this is fantastic. Ideally, you want to focus on making products and running your business rather than trying to work out the system so much. Up to this day, I've tried using ClickFunnels three or four times and I found it very, very difficult. All right, guys, that's my review of system.io. If you want to start an online business, this is the way forward. And I highly, I highly, highly recommend it. Now, I also have a link in the video description below. So if you sign up for any of these plans, I will give you access to my course, which teaches you how to get started with creating an online business. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.